Hi, it's Camden Reynolds. Check out those little guys coming out of there, or little gals, I should say. Cute little fuzzy bees on the way. And we love helping our bees make a lot of bees. Not only just for profit, but we love watching bees do their thing. No matter how long you've been doing it, it just still blows you away and takes your breath away at times. But these little girls are just great reinforcements for this little colony over here. And that's what, what I want to talk about today is proper bee coverage. Proper bee coverage is something that is going to help you be able to make good healthy splits. It's going to help you make good mating nukes. It's going to help your bees defend themselves well against small hive beetles, wax moss, yellow jackets, carpenter bees. And let me tell you, when you have a good, healthy colony with good coverage, they are going to kick all of those things butt and take their name, send them crying home in the rain, through the mud, to their mamas. Please don't ask me to do that again. All right, so this side right here is a little bit younger, more than likely. Queen laid this side up one, over a day or two, and they've been hatching out over the last day or two. And then you have this side here. On average, a deep frame like this, fully drawn, has about 7,500 cells. And so if a queen lays around 1,500 eggs a day, then it could take a few days for her to lay this all the way up. This is a lot of bee power fixing to come out of here. But look at the coverage on this frame over here. This split has a nice young queen. She's laying really good in these frames, but the coverage isn't really that good, and that leaves them vulnerable to other colonies that might rob them out. Our dearth is fixing to start. It'll also leave them vulnerable to small hive beetles, and why I think they would be fine like this with the reduced entrance and a little bit of feed, we're gonna make sure that they do well. Plus, when you have a colony like this that's a donor colony that's given the frame, they're not really hurting for bee power right now. This colony right here is tough. We've already taken two deep boxes of honey. This one right here is mostly full, and they have a good bit down there. So once our dirt starts up, we'll probably take a little bit more and make sure we leave enough to where they're going to be able to cruise through our summer dearth no problem. But this little guy right here is going to have to have feed. There's no way they're going to make it through our dearth strong and healthy going into our fall flow, and that's what our goal is. So we're just going to take this frame right here, smoke those bees out of the way, shift it over, and plop it down in the middle. Now this isn't going to hardly take any work for them because there's no feeding to do. There's no, uh, this time of the year you don't have to heat it that much because it's so hot they just have to cool it down. So this is going to give them thousands of little helpers and you can see the brew that she has down in there. So they're, they're on their way but this is going to take them to the next level quickly. And it's just that easy. I love having frames that are all the same size. They've got nectar over in here. This is what you want to see with a young nuke, young split. You want to see nectar in here. You don't want to see a lot down in here, but this colony doesn't have a lot of other places to go with it. That's still not great bee coverage right there. That's okay, but that's not great. But she's laying away. But once that clears up, that's going to give her places to lay. They don't even have to worry about cleaning those cells out because as little uh, nurse bees uh, hatch out of those cells, one of the first things they do is go get something to eat. Whoops. And then after they uh, do that, they go back and they clean out their cell. And then they can start helping, taking care of the queen's new larvae and all that kind of stuff. So this is just a quick way. If you have a couple big colonies, you can really help out your splits. Things happen, and some colonies don't do as well as others. Sometimes bees drift to one that gets a queen earlier, so things happen. Getting and doing short little inspections are going to help you stay on top and help your bees do well, and hopefully have some big colonies like this in the future that produce well over 100 pounds of honey. So always thanks for watching our videos. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below.